Sevilla y su fundación. Muestra del fuerte compromiso social de las entidades que presido. Creo firmemente en la necesidad de apoyar el emprendimiento y en la gran capacidad que tienen las mujeres migrantes para emprender. No obstante, debido a diversas situaciones, muchas de ellas no parten desde la posición más adecuada para ello, requiriendo apoyos específicos de la administración, entidades que fomentan el emprendimiento o de asistencia a personas migrantes. Gracias a la cooperación europea, dichos servicios pueden ser mejorados a través del intercambio de buenas prácticas con otras regiones como la de nuestros socios de Alemania, Bélgica, Grecia, Italia y Lituania. Con este propósito, las acciones del proyecto irán encaminadas a facilitar a las mujeres migrantes que deseen emprender toda una serie de servicios de apoyo para contribuir a su integración socioeconómica, salvando las desventajas iniciales en las que se puedan encontrar y que puedan desarrollar en igualdad de condiciones sus propias iniciativas empresariales. En Andalucía es esencial la colaboración de todos los agentes componentes de la región, ya que apoyando a estos proyectos empresariales contribuimos a una correcta integración de este colectivo tan clave en nuestra sociedad. Por ello, les invito a acompañarnos en este proyecto que con tanta ilusión está comenzando. Animo por último a todas aquellas personas que tengan una idea o inquietud empresarial a que se informen en las cámaras de comercio y a través de otras entidades enfocadas al proyecto de las iniciativas empresariales. Y solo me queda reiterarles a todos mi agradecimiento por su asistencia a este seminario de lanzamiento y espero que la próxima vez podamos saludarnos de manera presencial en nuestra Cámara de Comercio de Sevilla. Muchas gracias. Good morning to everyone. Firstly, I would like to thank our president for his intervention of, and of course, all of you for your attendance. My name is Maria Carrillo and I work for the Chamber of Commerce Seville. All, I think, well, um, although Atena is a project that uh, started only a few months ago, I consider that it addresses a, a certain focus not developed uh, enough before. For this reason, Spain, Belgium, Germany, Lithuania, Italy, and Greece have met to, to implement a wide range of, of activities, such as analysis the need of migrant women towards entrepreneurship, in the, the identification of good practices, of, in, of business supports, training professional from the organization working with a migrant women, and training for migrant women, for the creation of new companies, elaboration of business plan, innovation and digital skill. As all we know, several studies illustrate the gap, uh, the gap in integration outcomes uh, between migrant women and men. Uh, all these gaps are part of a vicious cycle in which lower economic opportunity affect social integration of migrant women and vice versa. In 2019, we organized a, a conference in Brazil of the Smart Volunteering Project, where a majority of intervention of migrant women focused on the lack of economic opportunity as a main handicap to a, to a proper integration. We linked these needs or demands with the EU Entrepreneurship 2020 Action Plan, which intends to, to remove a obstacle and change the culture of entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, uh, where uh, the business services reach uh, all kinds of, of entrepreneurs, including those for more vulnerable groups. Uh, one commitment of these action plans is to facilitate the, the entrepreneurship among migrant women living, already living in EU, 
based on great practices. Um, migrant, well, oh, migrant represent a, an important pool of potential entrepreneurs, but they face as a vulnerable group specific legal, cultural, uh, cultural and linguistic obstacles. These issues need to be addressed to, to give support uh, equitable to that received already by the rest of the entrepreneur. Mm, the EU action plan on the integration of third country national uh, ensures that third country national can contribute economically and socially to their host country. Though that is a key for the future well-being, uh, prosperity and cohesion of the EU communities. Athena will base on these needs, priorities, and uh, previous work to provide a new uh, and better solution for migrant women. The, the project will, will improve services, policies, and support of migrant women entrepreneurship, development uh, of common knowledge, uh, capacity building, a change of experiences, and with and with the development of activities with economic orientation but in which migrant women uh, may interact exchange um in, increase their contact with the their host country um well without further ado i would like to give the floor to juan guerrero from incoma who and thank you again Okay, thank you, Maria. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank um, the Chamber of Commerce of Seville as a project leader and the other partners of this uh, project for the opportunity to, to work together in such a challenge initiative. Um, let me, well, my name is Juan Guerrero. I work for Incoma. I'm the project manager of uh, uh, Incoma for this project, uh, Athena. Um, I will briefly introduce the, the, the expected impact of the project in our region and in our country in Spain. And then I will briefly explain what Incoma is going to, or how Incoma is going to contribute to the project uh, outcomes. Um, first of all, I would like to make you understand that Andalusia uh, is a region in the southern part of Spain. And we have a historical link with the Latin American countries, as well as geographical neighborhood with uh, Northern Africa. Actually, uh, for the state of Gibraltar, we're very close to, to Morocco. At the same time, uh, our region is not one of the richest in Europe, unfortunately. Uh, we have one of the highest unemployment rates in, in all Europe. So these aspects influence, of course, the, the migration flows that we, we have. And uh, we believe that uh, boosting uh, entrepreneurship uh, between uh, migrant population, third country nationals in general, but particularly women, uh, we will um, contribute as well to the development of our own economy. Um, according to our National uh, Statistic Institute, um 49.5% uh, of migrants in Spain uh, were women at the beginning of uh, 2021. Thus, uh, female migration figures uh, have increased a lot in, in the recent years. And this makes it uh, necessary to uh, develop in, uh, initiatives to, to help women migrants to achieve real labor and social inclusion. And at the um, Andalusian level in our region, there are public initiatives such as the integral plans for migration in Andalusia that are led by the Andalusian region. There are also um, uh, initiatives from other type of institutions such as uh, municipalities, chamber of commerce, to come to collaborate with the uh, third with the third sector and other stakeholders to promote the labor and social inclusion of uh, female migrants. 
uh, we hope that our project will contribute to create tools that will facilitate to provide professional services and boost the socio-economic integration of migrant women through, um, let's say, self-employment and the creation of business. And for our region, at least 15 uh, professionals uh, working uh, or giving support to um, migrant uh, women uh, will be directly benefited from the capacity building actions that uh, we're going to develop during the project. Um, furthermore, at least 30 women living in our country will be also directly targeted and uh, they will participate in the different uh, activities uh, to, uh, to promote and to create uh, this uh, entrepreneurial mindset and to help them uh, create their own uh, business. And what's the role of INCOMA in, in this project? Well, um, uh, INCOMA will actively contribute to identify the good practices. Uh, we will also work in the, the, in the capacity building of uh, the organizations and, and the professionals working with migrant women. Uh, we will also contribute to the development of new programs and services uh, to support these uh, migrant women. Uh, development of these entrepreneurial skills. And we will also give some contributions to the Chamber of Commerce of Seville uh, to develop the action plan for Andalusia. Um, apart from this, INCOMA will be responsible for dissemination and quality assurance of the project uh, within the dissemination strategy that, uh, you know, that uh, is uh, fundamental for the European Commission. And we will mm, make our mm, uh, best to attract migrant women to entrepreneurial activities and inform on the different services available for them to create and develop a business. At the same time, we would like to raise awareness for the general public and uh, other stakeholders on the importance of migrant women capacities as potential entrepreneurs and how this could contribute to the European Union and economy as well. Um, so. This, this is uh, more or less uh, um, what uh, we have uh, done in Coma, or what we will do in Coma, sorry. And uh, we're very uh, uh, enthusiastic and excited with this proposal, and we, we're sure that uh, we will assess it in all the results. So thank you very much. Thank you, Juan. I would like to, to introduce uh, Andrea for, from Nova Olus. Andrea? Yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Andrea. <coughs> I'm part of the, of the team uh, that is working on the Athena project on behalf of the Italian partner that is uh, Nova Olus. And um, I would like to first introduce um, like say a, a few data about the situation in Italy on uh, migration and migrant women in particular, and then share the contribution of NOVA and the project itself. So um, I think one of the main data, data that we can find about uh, migrant women is that actually uh, around about 51.8% of the total foreign residents in Italy are represented by women. And the majority of them actually is um, part of the is on the uh, working age range. So for a total of more or less 1.9 uh, million uh, migrant women. And uh, as been pointed in the 2020, 2020 immigration statistical dossier, foreign women encountered greater difficulties and obstacles in the process of inclusion in the host society, which seems to be directly linked with their tribal vulnerability. And when I speak of vulnerability, um, I would like to make clear that it's not uh, an individual con condition, but rather um, a social condition they experience uh, which influence their role as women, mothers and migrant, uh, and which is also linked and produces other um, let's say, hinders to their process of inclusion, such as job insecurity, economic dependence, uh, 
uh, and also, for instance, um, um, another factor that may hinder the inclusion in the labor market is, is the responsibility, the higher responsibility of care uh, for non self sufficient family members, such as uh, children, for instance, which often relegates the expression of their potential to the, dom the domestic sphere and leaves most of the, the competences uh, they acquire unrecognized by the labor market. Another interesting data on this um, that I would like to mention is that about 40.6% of foreign women aged between 15 and 29 years all do not work or study in Italy, a value that increases even more in Southern Italy. That is the, actually the area uh, of uh, implementation of the Athena project for NOVA, including the regions of Campania, Puglia, Calabria, Basilicata and Sicilia. Uh, and in this scenario, designing and developing entrepreneurship support services for migrant women as foreseen by the Athena project uh, constitute a gateway to the labor uh, to the um, local labor market for for migrant women, uh, and also uh, through the actions through the objectives uh, that the, the Athena project promotes, we would like to contribute to the empowerment and economic and social integration and inclusion of migrant women. And uh, among uh, the Athena's project activities, uh, NOVA is uh, primarily responsible of the research stage uh, aimed at analyzing the needs, expectations and the criticalities that migrant women encounter when they, when they run their own business and when they decide, they decide to start a new business. Uh, and uh, this is actually the first part of the of the research. And then uh, in the second part of the research, um, the second part of the research is mainly aimed at identifying good um, business, uh, good um, and successful examples of business support services addressed to migrant women or that could be readapted uh, um, for migrant women's needs. and. Um, one specific aspect of the project that we think is uh, innovative and interesting is uh, um, this um, attention to um, the collection of information to the experience of uh, migrant women. So this um, uh, initial confrontation with them, the, the idea of uh, departing from their first-hand experience when developing uh, um, in this in this first uh, research stage will allow to develop uh, an entrepreneurship support service that is tailored to their own needs and uh, challenges another aspect that we think is relevant is the is gender as cr as a cross cutting dimension in the sense that uh, um, in the uh, the Athena project tackles this aspect not just uh, in the field of integration and inclusion of, uh, of the foreign per population in the host society, but also in the field of entrepreneurship as a means of self-employment, inclusion in the labor market and empower empowerment for women. And uh, finally, um, another um, important aspect that the objective of the Athena project is this creation of a multi-sectoral network for us, not just involving um, uh, actors already engaged in promoting integration and inclusion of the foreign population, but also bodies that, for instance, enhance inclusion in the labor market via entrepreneurship, showing that the integration and inclusion is not just something to be done in a specific field, but something that uh, uh, crosses any every sector and every part of society. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. And uh, now I will introduce a video of Seba, Sebastian Capa from IH Key, who unfortunately uh, cannot be in the seminar for health problem. Hello, my name is Sebastian Kappa and I represent the IAK Projektgesellschaft MBH. 
First of all, I would like to apologize for only speaking to, speaking to you via video record. I am unfortunately a little bit ill and ask for your understanding. The IAK Projektgesellschaft is the training center of the East Brandenburg Chamber of Industry and Commerce. We sell further education and are responsible for projects. We are responsible for work package 5 in the project Athena. Our tasks are the development of guidelines for the preparation of business plans and workshops adapted to the target group women with a migration background. I hope that the results of the project can help startup services in our region but also across Europe to support women with a migrant background in setting up businesses. Furthermore, I expect a sensitization for the target group and its special requirements because fact is economic self-employment promotes integration and, and equality between men and women. Thank you and I wish you good luck for the rest of the event. Goodbye and see you soon. And now I will I will introduce Daiva from the Cialu Chamber of Commerce, Lithuania. Hello. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm Daiva from Shole Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Crafts. And uh, we are really glad to be here in team with more mature countries on immigration issue. To be sincere, in Lithuania, immigration uh, is um, relatively new, but, uh, but really raising issue. Because only two years we have positive immigration, but uh, immigration from uh, Ukraine, Belarus and uh, Russia is, is rising in times. So it is really an issue to be in the nearest future. We as Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Crafts uh, would like to be prepared for that. And uh, this Athena project is uh, really useful and uh, to our mind, uh, very re re respond, will respond to our needs in, in our region. So uh, as for migration situation, we have until now only 10% of, of women immigrants, but uh, their personal abilities and, and educational background it lets them to be entrepreneurs themselves. So we really believe that uh, if having support, they, they will be able to start their own business and, and create a job for, for their peers. So in this project, we are responsible for work package four, for coordination of, of work package. Of course, we will participate in, in, in all work packages discussed earlier and, and later. So uh, we are responsible for capacity building and preparation of services in, in, in our partner in institutions in order to consult uh, migrant women. We will not only build capacities of our professionals, uh, but also have a, a possibility to develop programs uh, for, for their training, consulting, and also materials. The, the very good issue to my mind is that uh, the materials will be translated into language of uh, most prevailing or country of origin of immigrants or the language where they understand best. And uh, thus the service and materials will, will bring immigrants closer to our institutions. Uh, also stakeholders will be, will be involved. It means uh, not our, institu our institutions will not act alone. 
we will find uh, support and experience of uh, other institutions in the region and uh, of course best practices of other countries uh, not only of uh, those within partnership so as i said we are going to be a step ahead and and to be prepared uh, and uh, to my mind, uh, the permanent uh, service uh, to, to migrant women, also favorable conditions will be a really strong push to start their own business and to uh, act not only uh, active in the, in the market, but also be proactive and, and thus create job places and, and uh, bring some economical use. Uh, what we think uh, also would be useful, not only our consultations, but also mentoring from our business women network, which is active in our chamber, and to provide uh, those immigrant women, not only with um, education, some education, some uh, uh, consultation, but also with practical mentoring with some attitude of uh, women who have started that, who have made their business in, in the, the local region, in, in our countries, and thus uh, really support those newcomers, those migrant women. So they have that soul and uh, we are really glad to be here and we'll do our best to, to bring value to the project. Thank you, Daiba. Uh, now, on, be, on behalf of Elia Mev, uh, it's the chair of, of Costas. Hello, all. Uh, thank you all for participating uh, today in our uh, launching seminar. Uh, of course, special thanks to the organizers of the event today. Uh, I'm uh, Kostas Vlahopoulos, uh, researcher at LMEP, and along with uh, Sergei Novak, uh, Natalia Vlona and Haris Malamidis are working on this uh, really interesting project and we are really glad to be part of uh, this uh, innovative uh, project. Uh, before I move on to describe uh, a few things about uh, our role in Athena, I would like to say uh, a few words about uh, Eliamep in general. Eliamep is an independent, non-profit, uh, non-governmental think tank based in Athens, Greece, and throughout its 30-year uh, history has uh, implemented numerous research uh, projects in various fields, and particularly in migration. Uh, now, uh, our uh, main role, among others, uh, because we are um, contrib contributing to um, almost all the uh, work packages uh, in Athena, uh, our main role is to coordinate the part of the action plans and sustainability, as well as the policy recommendations. Um, we think that through a close consultation with the stakeholders in our working groups, uh, the testing and implementation of new services and the training courses of professionals. We will identify gaps in uh, each national context, uh, as well as uh, the best practices throughout the uh, six countries. Uh, regarding the policy recommendations, uh, Eliamep is responsible for coordinating the development of a report discussing policy recommendations for the inclusion of migrant women in the labor market. Uh, as for the expected outcomes, I would like first to, uh, to say a few words about the current situ situation in Greece. Uh, currently in Greece, migrant integration uh, to the labour market is generally a fragmented and short-lived process. Critically, uh, there is no direct link between the asylum process and the integration schemes uh, provided by uh, non-governmental organisations and uh, international uh, organizations uh, based in Greece. Um, as the latter is unable to, uh, to cater to a sufficient number of uh, beneficiaries. Um, the same situation, even, even worse actually, applies to migrant entrepreneurship. 
uh, it's indicative that even data on the number of women entrepreneurs are scarce and uh, really difficult to, to extract. So uh, Eliamep uh, seeks to um, first raise awareness on the importance of entrepreneurship services towards migrant women in Greece. Uh, secondly, identify the needs and training of the professional working on migrant integration. Also, we would like to highlight the successes of uh, migrant women participating in the program to serve as a motivation uh, for other aspiring female uh, migrant entrepreneurs. Um, uh, 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 Actually, a very important step uh, in our in our mind uh, towards uh, the completion of Athena project is to um, to try to create a sustainable network of actors uh, dedicated to improve uh, the quality of life and uh, economic integration of migrant women in Greece uh, through the promotion of entrepreneurship, uh, and this should be our um, one of the. Uh, main uh, goals of uh, Eliamep in this project. And finally, uh, we would like to uh, facilitate the existing uh, uh, microcredit services for female migrant entrepreneurs in Greece. Uh, and uh, actually to uh, explore um, opportunities in this, uh, in this field of microcredit uh, services. I'd like once again to thank you uh, for this uh, really interesting uh, and uh, very well organized event. And uh, we are looking forward to uh, working together towards the, uh, the Athena project. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kostas. Uh, finally, I would like to present Katia from Digital Leadership Institute. Hello, good morning to everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, all my partners uh, and say that we are very glad to be here and to, to start this activity with you. And of course, thank you for the organizers of this event. So my name is Katia Ligisha and I'm uh, representing Digital Leadership Institute, which is a Brussels-based NGO um, promoting diversity and inclusion in the digital sector by supporting greater participation of women uh, to become digital entrepreneurs and be more active in the, in the tech sectors. Um, so if we, if we look first of all, uh, the, the digital uh, picture, because this is what we are bringing to the project, in Belgium and Europe uh, as a whole, women are still more likely uh, than men to have no or lower digital skills um, less access to internet and online platforms, significantly lower uh, employment in, um, as IT professionals, and also lower participation as the founders of digital um, uh, enterprises. Um, on the positive side, we have uh, that in the recent years in Bologna and in Brussels region as such, we have had an increase of women entrepreneurs, so starting this entrepreneurship adventure. So this is something positive, but the proportions of women are only one third vis-a-vis -vis the men. So it's still, the picture is not that great. Then if we look at the subgroup of the women entrepreneurs, migrant women entrepreneurs, uh, very, uh, as many of the partners already said, there are very little data uh, about what's happening with this group. Uh, but it's very to understand that it's facing uh, extra obstacles and difficulties uh, in integrating in the job market and in the entrepreneurship sphere, because they have to uh, face legal, uh, linguistic, and uh, cultural difficulties. And so, of course, this group, um, as many have said, it's a vulnerable group. But um, what we see is that very often for these women, migrant women, entrepreneurship is the way out. Entrepreneurship can be the way for them not only to integrate themselves as part of the society, but also to become financially free, uh, contribute to their and to the society as whole. Well. 
So in this framework, uh, DLI, what we'll try, we'll first of all try to understand um, yeah, the needs and the demands of these women that are in the Brussels region and, Bel um, and Belgium uh, as such, and, um, and try to, based on those, build uh, specific actions and activities for them. Um, based on our activities uh, in uh, driving and launching uh, grassroots events for women entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs we will bring uh, training uh, to these uh, migrant women, training basically where we want them to develop tech skills first, uh, but also business ideas. We want them to come out of the training with improve digital skills, but also entrepreneur, entrepreneur um, an, an idea for a business idea where they can launch it and bring it to the market. Uh, and then last, what we will uh, want to develop is to develop a policy uh, action plan for the Brussels region, where we want to have uh, some kind of deliver a clearer picture of what's the position of these women and what kind of action and services can be delivered uh, by private or, pri uh, or public organizations and all the organization working with migrant women. Um, so of course the expected results, what we really want to see uh, in, uh, in Belgium and bring to, to Belgium is to first of all improve knowledge of what these women need and want and how we can help to integrate them in the society more. And obviously with this shred a bit more clarity of, uh, of how to help them. Then uh, increase uh, their personal uh, knowledge and skills, uh, digital skills, but also business skills. And then uh, last but not least, give um, uh, and increase the synergies between, between organizations working in this domain and with these women that need help. Uh, and guidance and, and maybe also give a hand to the to the Brussels region on, on what on, on bringing a clearer picture to uh, of the of the whole situation. So that's a bit uh, all from uh, from my side. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much, Katia. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all the partners for the interventions and especially to the stakeholders and, and press who have uh, attended from the different countries. I would like to end asking the stakeholders and interested parties to integrate the working groups uh, with us in each country. The working groups we are going to create in each of the countries involved in this project because it is important that uh, to have all, all the views, uh, to build all, all together a better path to support the socioeconomic integration of migrant women. Um, first of all, I would like to, to, to ask uh, all the participants and panelists to, to stay only for one minute for, for a picture. I don't know if all the uh, participants may, may appear or only the panelists. In any case, after the picture, I would like to thank everyone and um, have a good day. So we, we may have now a picture a few of the panelists. Yes, I, I think the spectators cannot appear in this format. OK, so I think we can, we can do it now. OK, well, thank you, everyone and have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.